Okay guys, so this tutorial I'm going to cover um, cleanup inside of After Effects and the shot we're working with is literally just a static shot of this sign by here, this purple one and this one in the background and we're going to be getting rid of them. Um, now the first thing I did, obviously I like to do this, I exported this as a TIFF sequence, okay? Now the one thing which I did forget to mention in my tutorial about exporting and re and re-importing with TIFF sequences is when you do the frame when you import an image sequence into After Effects, it de by default it gives it a frame rate of 30 frames per second, whereas your footage is 25. So what you need to do to change that is right-click, go to Interpret Footage, Main, and then assume where it says Assume this frame rate, you say 25, and click OK. And there you go, you're done. So I'm going to drag this image sequence because right now this is a .mov file. No, not there. Uh, this is a .mov file in here. I'm going to drag this down to the new composition icon. And here we go. So as I said, we want to get rid of this sign and this sign. So to do that, um, I'm going to come to the first frame now. Um, there's, there's no movement in this shot because it's a locked off shot. Um, so I can come to any frame really in this case. But I'm just going to use the first one. I'm going to export to Photoshop. So I'm going to go Composition, and again, if you can't if save frame as is greyed out, that's because you've got this project window selected. As I move around, uh, yellow box, or in your case, blue, will be around the edge. And if I go Composition when you know save frame as is, is greyed out, uh, so make sure you you click the timeline or the composition window, and then you can go save frame Composition, save frame as, and I'm going to go Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to save it to clean up frame and click save and there it's going to save that so now I'm going to go ahead and open Photoshop okay so here we are back in Photoshop and I just want to go to file open and I want to navigate to where that was and I think it was down here clean up frame PSD and open okay so here we are inside of Photoshop now the first most important thing I want you all to remember is to create a new layer so we're going to do all our cleanup on this layer one so let's rename it double click the text clean up okay so First of all, you need to get the clone stamp tool, which is this tool by here, the one that looks like a stamp. So click that, and we've got it. Now, we want to make sure that we're on the top layer, and if we, w the default is um, current layer at the top, and if you tr were to try start using this tool, um, it wouldn't actually work because you need it to be looking at, um, you know, uh, the layer below and not just the empty layer you're working on so go to current and below and then click that one and you're good so I'm gonna make this brush bigger first of all so make it bigger something like that for some reason my bracket keys they should make it oh they are working now there you go um, so if I were to just start clicking I get an error it says could not use clone stamp tool because the area to clone has not been defined alt click to define a source point what that means is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually essentially copying pixels I'm gonna be painting pixels not just color so if I hold hold alt you can see it changes it to this little target okay um, when it's when when it's at that little target so I'm gonna hold alt again I need to move to somewhere I want to paint some grass here so I need to click okay when it's when I'm holding alt and now it's locked on to that area so you can see um, if I, when I hover around here you can see it's got this sort of green grass I'm just gonna start now clicking and painting and you can see what's happening so where this little cross is on the right when I'm moving that's where it's currently copying pixels from and as I paint over this you can see it's doing that now if I were to come over you can see it's it's kind of painting the bottom of the um, the bottom of the sign back because where this cross is currently um, it, it's it, 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 there is grass there so you think why isn't it painting grass 
The reason is I haven't taken my finger off my mouse yet. And the minute I do, it updates. And now it's like, oh, actually, there's grass there. So I'm just going to quickly undo that. Um, and then start painting again. So, you know, just keep on um, doing small clicks. And you can resource by going Alt like that just to get, you know, new bits of grass. And I recommend doing that because otherwise you'll have repeating patterns and you don't want that. So when it gets to this bit in here, I'm just going to source a little bit of this curb, make my brush a bit smaller and line it up. And then I can start painting this curb across. Okay, and I unclick. There you go. And let's just get another bit by there. Okay, cool. And also I'm going to start getting a bit of this. You just need to keep on resourcing pixels and painting them in like so. Um, now for this bit, I'm just going to get this curb, make a brush a bit bigger, and start painting it in like so. And get some from here, a little bit, start lining that up, and painting it in, and repeating the process like so. And then we'll eventually... There you go, we've got our path filled in. Ah, cool. So you, you can see we've already gotten rid of the bottom bit. I'm probably going to jump to the next easiest bit, which is going to be the sky. So I just want some, you know, white just in here. Just click and fill that in. Now this will be a lot more difficult on a sky which has, you know, complex cloud patterns. You know, it will be a lot harder then. Um, but, you know, it's, 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 I wouldn't say a lot actually, not too hard. You may think, oh, how are you going to paint in the tops of the trees? Well, nice and simple, like so. It's a lot easier to have a feathered brush with this um, when you're doing this. Um, so you can see, I'm going to get in that. And I just want to, that little, um, sort of that top of the lamppost but there, it looks, it, you can see it's been repeated. So all I'm going to do is just source a little bit for there. And there, with that feathered brush, it's now gone. It's very simple. So the only bit left is the back fence, which we can copy across. And this piece of grass. So I don't want to select grass from this area to paint here. Because, if, if as you see, um, there's small, very small tufts of grass here. And if I were to, so let's just show you. If I were to source this, you can see it doesn't fit in. Because you've got, you know, sort of... A lot more detail in this front bit so you want to get this back bit so if I were to like so just start painting bits in like this you can see the issue we have is we've got you know these repeating dots by here so I'm just gonna get a smaller brush and just paint out some of these dots so yeah it doesn't look like it's been repeated so again Paint all this green in by here, and we can resource a bit of this early green by here. Start painting it in, and paint that out, and just keep on building. So it's 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 a very it's actually a very easy process. You can see back then I've got this area repeated by here. So again I'm just kind of sourcing, and I've got a couple like bits by here sort of repeating as well. So I'm just gonna paint them out so it looks a little bit more flatter and natural um, so come across just start painting all of this and this is some very um, basic cleanup strategies okay so just start doing that very basic I, I would spend more time on this but obviously I'm trying to do it very very quick for the purpose of the tutorial. So um, that does look quite flat, so I would spend more time on it, but um, obviously, as I just said. Um, so I want to start putting this back curb in, so I'm going to select that. And actually, let, let's get rid of this small sign first. So come across. And again, I want to source something like this. Paint it in like that. And now we've already got rid of that sign, that background one. So in terms of painting this pathway in, I'm going to do something like get 
source this bit and make this a bit of a smaller brush and just start painting in like so. Okay, now what I will do is let's zoom in. I'm going to get a very small brush, make it get these sort of green pixels, and I'm going to, let's see, very small, start basically putting in a bit of a fake bank, okay? And I'm going to fill this with this green grass, so it kind of could be a bit better, but, um, you know, you kind of, there's a lot, it, it would get difficult if you're trying to make this path go towards, um, you know, the back of the fence is a bit of a difficult bit to do, so I kind of sometimes, uh, sometimes on a production you wouldn't be able to do this in industry because, you know, they say exactly what they want, but, you know, if you can get away with it, when you zoom out it looks like, you know, there's a bit of a bank there and it goes onto that bit of grass by here. Now, where these two bits of grass join, it doesn't look realistic, so what I sometimes do is source some of these darker pixels, this darker bit of grass, bring my opacity down and just sort of kind of build up this... Um, this transition, okay. Source these, and now it's got a bit of a, you know, a bit more of a blend. So the last bit I'm going to do is build up this fence at the back. So again, make my brush a bit bigger. I'm going to source the top of this fence post and match it to the top of this fence post, and just start painting across. And the reason it's not coming out normal is because my opacity is still at 23 percent. So draw it in like that. I realistically, I should have done this before I drew my bank, um, but it didn't really matter. So something like this. I can. I'm probably going to redo my bank in a second. Um, something like this. Okay. Um, so we've gotten rid of that, but we can. We're going to do a little bit of tidying up to the edge of this bush, and to the bank now. So again, literally same thing as I did before. Make it really small, get some sort of green pixels, and just give it a bit of a harder edge, and just give it a sort of just a bank like that. Then fill it in with some green of the grass. So then that, that you know, when that road, I don't know what actually happens there. Does the road meet, meet a gate or something? I'm not sure. Uh, the only other issue is this bush looks very similar over here, so I'm just going to... Um, paint this bush out over here don't want this don't want that repeating pattern and again with this bin so I'm going to source some pixels and I'm going to paint that bin out or whatever that post is so we're getting a bit more of an even thing now now the last thing is this bit is tricky so all I do for this is I source a bit of this bush make my brush really small and I sort of you know do loads of like kind of clicks just very 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 small Make it equal and just very random. So it looks as if it's the edge of the bush, and I'm going to re keep resourcing the different bits. When you zoom out, it would look as if it is the, you know, I'm not going to, you know, spend time drawing leaves. When you zoom out, you kind, it kind of starts to look as if it's the edge of the bush, you know. Um, so, oh, a bit too much. Um, so yeah, now I would spend a lot more time, I'm not happy with this grass, you've got this repeating sort of line by here, so realistically I would spend a bit more time painting this out, and I'd even darken some areas just to, you know, with, with um, just to make it look a bit more uneven, because right now it looks like, you know, just put a bit of paint on there, but that is a way of going from this to this, you're replacing that whole thing. So... Thanks for bearing with me doing that one. Um, all I want to do now is turn this bottom layer off, and this is my cleanup where I've done all this work, okay? And I want to save this out as a TIFF image and re-import it into After Effects. So, to do that, go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call it... Um, I'm going to call it Clean Frame No Sign. And I'm going to go TIFF and save. Now the important bit is make sure save as tran save transparency is saved. Then click OK um, and you can discard layers. Click OK and you're good. So come back into After Effects. Double click in here to import the clean file. So go desktop, 
and it was um, what was it called? Um, clean frame no sign dot tiff import. Um, and this is the important bit as well. Make sure you tick pre multiplied. Okay, I'll be going through this in class. You know what what it actually what these actually mean, um, but make sure you click OK. Uh, you click pre multiplied and then click OK. So with that done click and drag this so it's on top of your footage and then as you play through let's just come out as you let's make that fit as you come through and you play your footage because it's a locked off shot we don't have to track this in um but you've essentially done your first piece of cleanup so it's just yeah it's very yeah there you go so you can see that it, it is a piece of moving footage because this guy whoever that is um he is moving uh, so you can tell it's not just a still image, but that could be a clean up sort of job that you have to do as well. Um, anyway, so I'm going to leave it there. So um, cheers for tuning in. Again, I'd spend more time on this bush probably if it was me and making this look a lot more, have a lot more distinction to it. But um, yeah, crack on and yeah, catch you again. Cheers. Bye.